This is what the fob looks like. It looks just like a little mini car. You tap on the front for the hood, the top for the passenger door, and the front door, and then these two are for the side doors and the back for the trunk. I also got the upgraded package, so when I have this key on me, right in my purse, and I walk up to the car, the door will open automatically. Let's say I was further away from my car and I wasn't walking up on it or I wanted somebody else to get in the driver's side. It opens the side, double tap again, it opens the passenger. And click the sides and it'll open the falcon doors. I opted not to get the two seats in the back. This is for the windshield and find the mobile chargers right here. Not in the bag because it's a little messy. But it has a large trunk area. This lifts up as well for deeper space. The hood also has trunk space. Lifts up. Obviously because there's no engine, you could fit something in the front. Much smaller obviously, but and if you want to close everything at one time, you tap once on the top. The car is really quiet, so when you're driving, especially when you come to a complete stop, like you can't hear anything. Sometimes when you rev it, you may hear like the battery, but it's really no sound besides the music playing. As far as like the dot goes, I usually leave it on this where it's like the map and uh, the music because that's what, what I use the most, but you can change it to whatever you want. There's like little controls at the top. You make it show the whole map or a split screen. That's the rear view camera, which looks trippy, so I never usually have that on. I am about to run out, and this shows you what percentage you'll be on when you get to your destination, and it also shows you your round trip. Like, if I didn't go to a supercharger, I'd only have 5% when I get home, so that would not be good. And when you go on, like, road trips and you navigate to wherever you want to go, it will show you, like, where each supercharger is that you need to stop at and at that amount of time onto your trip, which is really cool because I plan on going to Florida in June, driving there with Yoshi. So it'll give me the whole route and then it'll show me every supercharger that I need to stop at so you don't run out of charge. Good and bad because it kind of adds time onto your trip, but you don't have to pay for gas. So winning. My favorite part of the car besides no maintenance, no gas, quiet, fast, is probably the windshield that goes all the way back here. It's almost like you have a sunroof because it goes so far back. And then the back seats have like their little sunroofs so because of the top of doors. So like when it's raining or when it's sunny outside or I'm in traffic and I have it on um, autopilot, like I literally just lay back and look up. Probably corny, but I like I like the view. It looks really nice. <laughs> So put it in auto drop, autopilot, you just like double click. There's like a little lever down here and this circle right here will turn blue and that's how you know it's steering for you. And you can choose how the distance you want it to stop. So it'll break before it gets too close and it gasses back up to the maximum speed limit, which right now I think is 150. Uh, you still have to pay attention. I'm still paranoid about the technology, but for the most part, it does what it's supposed to do. But whenever you want to disengage it, you just turn the steering wheel a little bit or press the brake and it'll turn off. It's traffic coming up. So right now it's probably going to start breaking this.
it's capable of self-driving, but since it's not legal yet, they don't have it activated on the car. But as soon as it becomes legal, like I'll just update my car and it'll have self-driving, which when I do get that, that's going to be trippy because it can literally drive to your destination without you having to do anything at all. So don't have that yet, but hopefully that'll become legal by the end of the year. And uh, this baby will do it all. Right now I'm going to a charge station. It's about two miles from my house, which is great because right now I live in... An apartment building and all the plugs to like if I wanted to plug in my car at home are near reserved parking so there's nowhere to charge my um, my car at the house so I just drive two miles to Atlantic Station and they have um, a supercharger there and because I purchased my car um, before January of this year I get free charging for life but I think now they have it to where if you purchase it from now on you have to pay for charging after a certain amount of miles but luckily I got it during the time frame where I have free charging for life so I just go here like I'm going to the gas station and when I'm at like my sister's house or somewhere where I can plug it in with my mobile charger then I charge at you know wherever a plug is available and I'll show you how I charge it now not like right now but like when i get there <laughs> My first car was actually a Ford Escort. It was like a 96. It wasn't that old because I got it like in 2001. So I was fortunate enough to not have my first car be a bucket. But I, I had that all through high school. When I got to college, my aunt gave me her car, which was a Hyundai. And when I moved to Atlanta, I gave that car away because I didn't know where I was going to go at the time. And uh, I ended up getting another Hyundai, not on purpose. My mom originally told me to get a car that would get me from A to B, and it literally got me from A to B. It broke down and when I was in North Carolina for homecoming. And same aunt that gave me the car when I was in college, still lived in North Carolina at the time. So she took me to a Hyundai dealership where she had a friend, and I didn't really have a choice of whether or not to get the car. My mom was paying for it at the time so I had to be grateful with what I got even though it wasn't necessarily what I wanted. I was fine with it. It was cheap on gas, $20 to fill up. I never had any maintenance issues with it but I just wanted to buy my own car. Like I've always wanted to do that and I always said when I do buy a car it's going to be the car that I actually absolutely want not something that you know oh it just looks nice no I'm gonna actually research so I had been looking at this car for like a year and um, I finally test drove it Thanksgiving when my mom and my stepdad came out and finally convinced them of how great it was the experience of buying it wasn't that great a lot of people didn't take me seriously like the salesmen and the finance people they kind of blew me off a little bit I don't know if it's because I'm a little younger, or I'm a woman, I'm single, I'm black. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but they weren't taking me serious. Some of the times not even responding to my emails when I was asking questions or whatever. And it was kind of frustrating because it took the fun away from buying the car. Like, I wanted to be swooned. Like, you know, I used to see on TV when the guy is like persuading you to get the car, but it wasn't really like that. Um, I don't think they thought I was going to get it. But long story short, uh, when I finally got the money, everybody's tune changed a little bit. Got a little bit more friendly. And um, it was kind of like a pretty woman moment. Like, I remember I said this on Snap when I actually got the car. I was like, they were treating me kind of unfairly, like not responding to me and blowing me off and, you know, saying, well, this is the money you need. So, you know, you can't get the car if you don't have this amount of money. As if, like, I wasn't going to have the money. Uh, I remember I called and I was like, yeah, I see my car was delivered to Atlanta. When can I come pick it up? And they were like, well, we have to do with financing first. And I was like, I already paid the money. Like, check online. All the money's there. When can I get my car? And he was like, oh, 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 oh yeah, I see you. I see you just made a debit. Yeah, uh, yeah, oh, uh, you come tomorrow. 
And I was like, all right. But I really wanted to say like, you know, remember me? Remember when you were ignoring me? Big mistake, okay? Because I probably would have brought you a basket of cookies if you weren't so freaking rude. But it just was more of a gratifying moment to me like to prove them wrong and to just accomplish something for myself because this was a huge investment. You know, it's not leased. It's not a loaner like I bought this car and it made me cry a little bit because I went through a really rough patch in my life right after I had my daughter. So to be able to accomplish this five years later is a big deal, especially when people didn't even think that I was going to be able to make it as a single mom. So before I end this video, I just want to say this. It took me a while to get into the position where I could even afford a Tesla, let alone a car. I've been through a lot, like literally like four years ago, I didn't even have my own place to stay. I was living on my sister's couch. You know, I was on government assistance. I was getting help from everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like I was struggling. Eventually, I want to share like my story and what made me pursue makeup and follow my dreams and how I got to where I am based on when I'm not pretty much homeless. I'm just not really ready right now. What I will say is that it's very important not to lose your faith. It's very important to pray and it's very important to not give up. And I trusted God and I owe you guys a big thank you too. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for liking my pictures, you know, subscribing, following me on everything because any type of influencer, celebrity, cook, chef, restaurant, it's all due to the consumers, people who support the business. And being an influencer is, is a business. Thank you for trusting my opinion. Thank you for buying my collab products. Like, thank you for supporting my daughter and, you know, what she's doing with her Instagram and YouTube. Like, you guys have allowed me to enter a lane that I didn't even know was available for me to enter. And I'm forever grateful. Yoshi! So I'm talking about our new car. Don't mind her hair. She's had two shirt and twists for, like, almost a week. Sit up. Do you like our new car? Yeah. What is your favorite part about it? The open the, the doors in the back seat. Do you know why mommy works so hard? No idea. <laughs> you just got a new car and you don't know why I work so hard? <laughs> she needs to buy new toys. What else? And she needs to buy new candy. So I work hard to buy you toys and candy? <laughs> yeah. Girl, bye. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it's inspired somebody. Where can they follow you? Yohida on Instagram. What about YouTube? YouTube. And you can see me on like movies or the iPad or phone. You're in a movie? <laughs> I hope so one day. We'll be able to get another Tesla at that rate. Anyways, love you guys. And until next time, bless kisses.